Hello data scientists, I'm here in the heart of Silicon Valley with a new friend, Matt Woods, who's a data scientist who lives and works here in Silicon Valley. And uh, thanks for inviting me into your home and uh, it's great to know you now. And I wanted to just uh, ask you, and so we can share with our viewers, how you came to where you are today and what some things you might be currently doing and what you might want to do in the future in the realm of data science. Great. Well, uh, so uh, data science is uh, a new title for me, but I think it uh, is a more accurate description of the things that I've been doing all along. In a sense, it's something that I've kind of, uh, a title that uh, has come along and uh, something that uh, it's as if it had been there all along for mm -hmm. me, I think. So uh, I started off uh, in an academic career. I studied physics and mathematics, uh, and then I got my PhD in uh, computational neuroscience. Uh, I did a lot of uh, neural modeling uh, and machine learning type stuff. Uh, and as I finished uh, up with my studies, I was working more and more on uh, applications to machine learning uh, in biomedical informatics. Uh, and I have worked uh, since graduating uh, at a few different places where uh, the focus was on uh, trying to use machine learning uh, and statistical techniques to uh, both uh, tease apart the meaning underlying large uh, biomedical data sets mm -hmm. uh, and do uh, predictive modeling uh, and uh, in the context of, uh, uh, of various and sundry applications of, uh, of data science to, uh, to biomedicine. Cool. Um, and currently I'm, I've come out to Silicon Valley where I'm doing a, a, a fully uh, data science uh, dependent position uh, in the context of, uh, of uh, cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, very large data sets that I've been working with. The challenge has gone from working with data sets where uh, samples were very expensive, but the dimension was very high, right. to the type of data I'm working with now, which has uh, less dimension, still high dimensional, but uh, extremely large numbers of samples. So mm -hmm. I've been expanding into a different uh, set of tools. I've been working much more with Spark and Hadoop, mm. um, and still doing uh, interesting statistical things on top of these uh, data sets. Awesome. And where do you see the future for Matt Woods in the scope of as a data scientist role? What do you want to, uh, have you got some goals and aspirations at the moment? So for me, each new skill set that I acquire within the domain of data science allows me to address more questions. It becomes more and more open, more and more broad mm -hmm. uh, as I develop the ability to work with larger data, different types of data, time series data, data that's been collected under conditions of uncertainty and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so my interest with respect to data science is, is to be able to address uh, a wide variety of questions and questions that are <clears throat> impactful in society and interesting to me personally. Um, so the, the the acquisition of the tool set is a sort of a first step mm -hmm. uh, and going forward from there the main challenge I think is is uh, really getting together with the problem domains that are that are impactful and interesting to me and finding the data uh, and um, bringing together the data science and, and the data itself to produce things that uh, <clears throat> are either product or description or uh, have some means of communicating the insights of the data uh, mm -hmm. to uh, interested parties in such a way that uh, the data is, is allowed to tell its own story and uh, have the impact that it should. Great. And yes, yeah, so thanks again for inviting me here and talking. It's been great talking to another bearded data scientist yes. and uh, <laughs> I think it's a, a rarity on the Coast, but um, it's great to hang out with you and thank you so much for the time in the video. Oh, absolutely, thank you.